Hey, my friends, and uh, welcome back to more Let's Play Gran Turismo 6. And uh, in the last part, we did the Sierra Time Rallies, got all goes and those. And I forgot to show you what vehicles we won. And by the way, I did buy three more cars off screen there. Um, I kept asking about the R8 Gordini. It's actually a red null. And, uh, and I bought that just to, you know, just to have it and try it out and stuff. Because, you know, me, I always love to test out new cars. But uh, for the Sierra Time Rallies, um, I did say this in the video, but uh, I said that you win the cars that you that you use, and sure enough, that's what they give you. And uh, I actually have used that Ferrari GTO quite a bit, and uh, the GTR Nismo, and the, I don't know, I may have used it. I can't remember. I don't think I've used any of the other three. I think I've just used the GTO, but. Now in this part, we're going to do the um, all the licensed coffee breakers. If I can figure out how to get to it. coffee break. Yeah, there we go. And there are a bunch of these, but they're all pretty short. So, so I believe this was for the novice. I'm trying to go off my memory here. This one was for the novice. This one, these two were for the uh, National B. I believe these two were for National A. These for, for uh, IB. These two were IB. These two were IA. And this last one was S. And uh, did get all golds on these. And so let's do this. You know what? Bad thing about replaying this. And none of these really took me very, very long. Yeah, unfortunately. Can't really say, uh... Yeah, you say it only took me six, six kilometers, so it didn't take very long. Uh, if you take this path here, it's pretty easy. It'll take a few attempts. But the thing is, you want to do, and I wish it didn't cut off the end like that. Uh, it's weird how when you replay this replay, <laughs> it leaves all the cones down, so it's not, you know, not really the best representation. But yeah, when you hit those boxes, it, knock, it has like a big domino effect. It knocks over a bunch of them. So, and I'm sure there are multiple paths you could take, but, uh, that definitely seems like a good path for that, so not too bad at all. all right, so let's move on to the next one. And I really wish it wouldn't take me all the way back here, but it does, so I will. So now this is for the uh, National Bay License. The uh, Eco Challenge. And I really think these are pretty interesting. And this actually was uh, pretty easy. Um, the thing is, I couldn't use... You know, I use a controller. I don't use a steering wheel. So I had to be really careful. Uh, because just feathering the throttle isn't enough. You have to really be easy on the throttle. to uh, And not give it much gas. And so... And this didn't take very many attempts at all. But uh, what I had to do was I had to use the joystick for the gas instead of a uh, instead of using the X button. I had to use the joystick. So notice there, you can see how much gas I'm giving it. Not very much at all. Just kind of letting it idle for a good portion of it. So yeah, kind of easy on the gas there. And idle as much as you can. These are pretty fun challenges. I actually wish there were more of these instead of so many cone challenges. But, oh well. I think they only had two of these in all the coffee breakers. Most were cone challenges, and then we had like three drift challenges, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of drifting. Although I'm, I actually got better at it than what I, than what I initially was. 
So yeah, just kind of take it easy on the gas. And uh, this is a pretty easy challenge to do. I mean, we've already gotten the bronze. It's kind of easy on the throttle. Especially if you can get it like third, fourth gear. Go about 80 or so. Already passed silver. Yeah, I mean you're really slowly using gas as long as you keep the throttle like it like I have it there. And we already got the gold. Well, let's just see how far we can get. Just kind of coast the rest of the way. And we ran out. Or we ran out of time, because I think they do time me as well. But, uh, but not too hard, not too hard at all. Okay, so let's try this next one here. So the third one, our next cone challenge with an Elise. This cone challenge is quite a bit different. Open layout. I believe this one was tougher than the than the first one. For me. Oh. The only bad thing about replaying this is uh you can't really see what it originally looked like. This one uh, kind of hard I mean this one took me a little while and I'll actually show you how many kilometers granted each attempt you know I mean you just kind of have to get lucky really and there's if you can end it right there on that on that little area then uh, it's pretty easy if you can end it there but if you look here I just kind of go to the left at the beginning and then I kind of loop around yeah, 11 kilometers, so it really didn't take too long. But of course, you know, it takes a lot of attempts to do many kilometers on this. It's weird how all the cones just stay down. It only replays where the car goes. Alright, well. Definitely was uh, more challenging than the first one, which didn't take me long at all. But really not too bad. Nothing like the Ayrton Senna challenge. Okay, so. So next we got this drift challenge. Our first drift challenge. And. Didn't really say what. Uh, yeah, this is for the National I I believe. Drift Challenge Round 1. On Autumn Ring Mini. And this isn't... This one wasn't really that bad, actually. I was surprised. Uh, this wasn't that bad at all. Yeah. Uh, I used the emergency brake a lot. Didn't use the regular brake that much. And... Depending on the angle and the speed, you can get more points, you know. Now, I actually go reverse here because I'd like to get more speed up before I start the next checkpoint for that next section. And you can see on my last attempt that uh, I got relatively close, 4,300 points. Yeah, this didn't take too long at all. Get some decent speed for this one. It's really hard to get a lot of points on that that one there. Really kind of sucked on that so far. Now this one's pretty good to get some points on, as you say. Just kind of want to swing around the corners. And how many kilometers do I have on the car here? 
because that's usually a good testimony to how long it took. 17, so yeah, it didn't take long at all. I mean, like maybe five, 10 minutes. Wasn't too bad. But, you know, I could say how it could be difficult. I actually really enjoyed that, though. More than I thought I would. Okay, let's see. So, this is also National I believe. So, yeah, we just barely got the gold, the 45-39. So, Cone Challenge with a 458 Italia. So layout A. Yeah, these cone challenges were pretty fun. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This one, this one took a little while. I wish everything would come up. And it looked like I actually missed it, but I guess I didn't. I mean, I just kind of mo or. Maybe it's just that you don't have to hit every single one. You just have to hit under them. Because I'm pretty sure I missed unless they fell afterwards. But either way, this one really wasn't that hard. I thought it was going to be, but it really wasn't. Yeah, I think it's that, uh, I don't think you have to hit every single one of them. say uh, I only had two kilometers on this car so it didn't take many attempts at all I love how the cones just stay knocked over see I had missed that one earlier so apparently you don't have to hit them all or either it counts you know because sometimes if you hit one cone it'll knock into another yeah, we definitely, I mean, I did that in like 35 seconds, so. That was really impressive. I think one thing that hesitated me at, you know, prior attempts was that I thought you had to knock over every, every cone, but I don't think you really had to do that. All right, so yeah, 34.9. So our next is our Eco Challenge. And a CRZ, this is our last Eco Challenge. And I will say this is for the International B test. I wanna say. <laughs> and believe it or not, I don't know if you remember from the LP or not. Uh, I actually had already gotten a goat on this. Um, I actually had already gotten the goat. I think I got a 305 when I actually recorded this project. But I was like, you know, I might as well just go ahead and do it again anyway. And it actually took me three or four attempts to get this. Which was kind of a kind of an insult to myself considering the fact that I it, this was the only one that I actually did gold on my in my initial LP. But uh, just like with the last one, you just want to go easy on the gas. But you have to be more careful on this one because uh, it's actually timing you. Whereas when you had the Nissan. It wasn't really time you just saying how fast, far you could go. You know, with this one, you are just, uh, well, you did have a time limit with the Nismo. You did have a time limit, limit, but they were very generous on the time limit. But on this, you're actually trying to go decently fast while, while being easy on the gas as well. So you did have to give it a little, you know, a little more oomph. This thing's definitely easier on the fuel than the uh, Nismo was. Of course, you know, as you would expect, it's a hybrid and everything. It has a little bitty engine and it's a lot lighter and there's so many reasons. 
I think this is a hybrid, isn't it? On the CRZ. Wanted to say it's a hybrid. And that little meter where it says uh, empty and fuel your gas gauge, I don't know why it has that little arrow. I'm not sure what that indicates. I want to say that's only for hybrids, but I'm not sure. And I actually gave some pretty good gas there because I had so much gas left. And it kind of let off here because we're going to slow down for the corner anyway. This is my first time driving on Suzuka in quite a while. Yeah, we have plenty of gas. So I pretty much can just floor it the rest of the way now. Because now we're just racing the clock. And we got a 307. Which is not as good as my um, other attempt. Yeah, I had 18 kilometers on this. So, so it took a few attempts. But we did it. Alright, so let's see what else we got here. Cone challenge. So this is the last one for the International B with a Roadster RS. So open layout. Trying to get everything up here in time. So yeah, this one is... Different in that... Well, it's kind of similar to the last one with the Ferrari. In that you are following a path, a set path. Which I actually prefer. I like this better than that uh, one where you had to randomly go around and hit 180 cones. Um, but uh, this really wasn't that bad. And I think you do have to hit all of them here, for sure. I don't think you could really miss any. But yeah, I only had one kilometer on this car, so I want to say this did not take very many attempts at all, maybe one or two attempts. I don't remember though, because it's been a few days. But it's a lot easier when you have that set driving line that you have to follow. It's much easier. All right. So that's all the IB. So now we only have three more. So here we go for our next drift challenge with the RX-7 Touring Car. And this one wasn't too bad, I don't think. I actually think it was... I don't know if it's easier than the last one, but it uh, wasn't too bad at all. You can really get some pretty good points around these uh, corners here, as you can see here. Yeah, 1798, just around that first one. It's pretty good. Now, I kind of messed up there. I just wonder if they didn't take the points. Sometimes they're pretty easy on you hitting the walls. Yeah, over 1700 on that, too. 18, 1800. It's kind of hard to get much on that one, though, at least in my experience. A measly 300. So I had to get about 1,900 on this last part to get it. Okay. So one more still. So go back so I can get some speed. Okay, let's 
let's try all these. Yeah, I only, yeah, I only had to get about a thousand. So we got a good 300 extra points than what we needed. See, I didn't think this one was too bad at all. And this was fun. I actually really enjoyed this uh, drift section. I hate how I messed that up, though. That sucked. Yeah, I was getting it there, man. It really is kind of fun. I mean, how many attempts does this take? Eight kilometers, so it didn't take very long. Only eight kilometers. Whee! That's that up too. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, y'all don't need to see more there. Oh, but that last drift challenge, though. If you played this game and goaded everything, you know what I'm talking about. All right, cone challenge five. So, yeah, I got, yeah, I got a good uh, 360 more points than I needed there. Cone challenge five, I got 37, 483. And the expo. Oh yeah, this one was kind of fun. And a little bit challenging. Took me a few attempts. I do remember though when uh when I did my LP of this game. I hadn't done any of the licenses since, but uh Um But the licenses were very, very easy to gold. They were very easy to get all gold on. And you only had to get thir thirty eight seconds here. So it wasn't too surprising that most of these coffin breakers were pretty easy, but I don't know. I just assumed that uh, they weren't that you didn't have to go to them for a hundred percent, so that's why I never did. But you do have to go to them for a hundred percent, and that's it. It's all she wrote. Watch one more time here. How many kilometers I have? Yeah, two kilometers. Didn't take very many attempts at all. Once again, nothing like that art and Cena thing. Oh my heavens. That was so bad. So, so bad. I wish on these replays, I wish it would keep the ghost, but it doesn't. It's one thing it doesn't keep. Yeah, pretty, pretty easy. You know, it just takes you, takes you a few attempts, you know, to get, get used to the car and get used to the, the, uh, the path and stuff you have to take. But the final coffee breaker, Drift Challenge Round 3 with a Dunlop Skyline. Ooh, this is rough. Very, very rough. And this one took me a little while. I think I spent like 30 minutes the, uh, on the first night that I recorded all these. And then I just went to bed. Or, you know, I quit for the night. And then I came back to it the next day. Or a couple days later, I don't remember. Uh, and I wish it would keep all this information up. And I'll just rewind this. But, uh... You can say how many kilometers it took. Yeah, 23 kilometers, so it took a few attempts. Again here. Yeah, you only had to get 7,000 points. Only 7,000. The last drift challenge, you only had to get 5,800. Which would not even be a silver on this. But yeah, you want to at least get around 2,000 points. On one attempt, I actually got 2,800 points around that first corner. Uh, and it was a shame, because right after that, I screwed screwed it up, you know. And got literally nothing on this corner. It's real hard to get much on that corner there. 
So getting 686 extra is decent. Here's where you can get some points, though. You really want to get a good 2,000 points on this if you can. Or at least 1,500, you know. 2,048. And also here, this is the last section, I think. And you can also get a lot on this. And I got it. Yeah, so pretty much you have to get over 2,000 on three of those sections. Or, you know, get well over 2,000 and lit just a little bit under 2,000 more. Because on the second section, you're just not going to get very much. At least I'm not. So if you can get like 25, 26, 27, 8, 20, 2,800 on the first one, and then get like 2,000 on the last three, the last two, you're definitely don't have this. But, uh, I was fortunate. I actually got some reasonable points on my second section. You know, this one was, this one was kind of annoying, I have to say. Yeah, but when I came back, you know, before this attempt, I think I spent like 10 minutes, maybe. So overall, I spent probably 30 to 40 minutes on this thing, which I sh which shouldn't have been a thing. But, uh, that is it, y'all. That is all of the coffee breakers. That is all of the coffee breakers. So, yeah, 7113. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty good. We did it. And with all of that, that brings us to 99%. So the only thing I have left is the last two uh, Sebastian Loeb things. So, uh, so yeah, 182 cars. So y'all, we're going to stop right here. In the next part, I think I want to do these seasonal events. Um kind of play around with those and I probably won't do any cutting I'm just gonna show you everything I do uh, well I will cut if it takes too many attempts but uh, you know definitely will show you the first attempt or whatever and then I'll definitely show the the last successful attempt so pick, pick your favorite car and take the challenge so join me next time or we will do that thank you all for watching have a super awesome blessed day and as always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.